the four-pod leghorn thing going on here. And uh, Aya comes from a very, very distinguished family of tambourine players. And uh, you'll have watched them play the tambourine here uh, at many, many shows. And uh, I'd like to tell you some of the background to Aya's tambourine playing. His great-grandfather, 40 times removed, when the Romans came to try and invade Scotland, his great-great-great, 40 times removed, his, he was the original Thorne, his name's Aya Thorne, and this great-great-grandfather, Jackie Thorne, when basically the Romans came, Aya's great-grandfather, 40 times removed, started to play the tambourine. And the Romans get such a fright like a that they built Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> and all through the generations, every time the country has been threatened, Aya's ancestors have been there on the battlefield to play the tambourine. In 1297, when William Wallace was fighting English at Stirling Bridge, Aya's great-grandfather, 20 times removed, Jimmy Thorne, he, was, he took out his tambourine as the English were crossing Stirling Bridge, started to play the tambourine and the bridge collapsed and many hundreds of English were killed. At Bannockburn as the English charged, again his son was there to play the tambourine and the front line of the English cavalry just collapsed into the ditches. And so the Thorne family have become the great talisman of Scotland, playing the tambourine for the last two, two millennia since the Romans came. But every time, you'll notice, I'm sure you've all seen Alvin act many times before, and every time he's banging the tambourine off his hand, discs fly off. You know how discs fly off his tambourine? And they're very flexible, actually. It shows you the boy's stronger than he looks. But um, over all these centuries, every time he has broken a tambourine, the Scots soldiers in awe would drop to their knees and pick up these little discs off the tambourines. And it was made into one of the great talisman of Scotland. We have the Stone of Destiny on which our kings were crowned. We have the Holy Root of St. Margaret, which is supposedly a piece of the two cross in which Christ was crucified. And also we have our other great talisman made from the tambourine pieces of the last 2,000 years and we call it the shiny shiny. And as a special, as a special treat here today, I've had special permission from the elders of the Kingdom of Scotland and they said, you may. And here we have, ladies and gentlemen, the shiny shiny. <laughs> 2,000 years of tambourine parts with history written across them. Ladies and gentlemen, the bloodline of the Holy Grail itself. I am born. Look at the shiny shiny!